Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 12-year-old male with history of knee pain, and he has a lesion, a benign lesion, in his medial femoral condyle. So the femur is this bone here, comes down, has a round part along the inner side called the medial condyle, and this is the outer side, lateral femoral condyle, and the bone down below is the tibia. So it looks like an x-ray. You're looking straight at the knee, femur up top, tibia down below, and the abnormality is right here. There's a little crescentic region of low signal, and this is what we call an osteochondral defect. So osteo means bone, because it involves the bone, and chondral is because it involves the cartilage. So you can see here there's a gray band going along the articular surface of the femur. This is the cartilage. It looks pretty good, but underneath it, that subchondral bone, the bone beneath it, has uh, died has lost its blood supply. So we call this an osteochondral defect because it involves both. And the worry is that these can, things can grow, the bone can uh, fracture, or this whole piece can break off and float around in the knee joint. So when we catch it early like this, you don't want that to happen. And so the surgeon may follow the patient on MRIs or go in there and drill it with a drill and hope that the blood will flow into it and it can heal itself. So in this patient, we don't have any follow-up. but. Um, just as an aside, this is called osteochondritis desiccans, and it's in the inner side of the knee typically. It involves the articular surface, and it also goes in to this thing. This is the intercondylar notch, so the two condyles, the intercondylar notch. So this is a classic location for osteochondritis desiccans. So we can follow this, or if it starts to enlarge and becomes really painful, they can drill it and hope that it can go on to heal. So there's another patient here who's 29 years old. They have the same exact thing. Again, this is a typical location, osteochondritis desiccans. It involves the medial side, medial femoral condyle, and it goes into the notch here, the intercondylar notch. And in this patient, we can see that they have had drilling. You see these linear bands here? So they have uh, been drilled to try to get blood supply going to it, but we can see here that it was not successful. Now in this view, we can see fluid is white. So we see white fluid here. We see there's a hole in that bone, a piece is missing. There's a little chunk of the bone here. So this is what we hope doesn't happen. The osteochondral defect did not heal. Instead, it just broke off, and it broke off and it split. So this is one of the pieces here that is free floating, and they have another piece back here that's free floating. So this is, again, a bad um, sequelae or a bad outcome of that. So now the surgeon has a really tough job. They have to go in there and remove these pieces of uh, bone and then try to reconstruct this. So that's it. Osteochondritis desiccans, early and at late stages.